My name is Mena Hallers Algra and I'm working at the University Medical Center in Groningen, the Netherlands. I will briefly review our systematic review on the effect of early intervention in high-risk infants that was published in the March 2017 issue of Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology. What was already known on this subject? Previous reviews addressed the effect of early intervention in groups of preterm or low birth weight infants. Indeed, these infants are at risk for developmental disorders, but fortunately, the majority of these infants does not develop a cerebral palsy. These reviews demonstrated that early intervention in these infants is associated with a beneficial effect on cognitive development up until and including preschool age. The effect on motor outcome is less and limited to infancy. So, what is new about our study? Two things. First, we addressed the effect of early intervention in very high-risk infants. That is, infants who presented with a brain lesion or neonatal imaging, or with definitely abnormal general movements between the age of two and a half and five months corrected age. And we focused on early intervention, that is intervention occurring in the first year of term. We reviewed about 50 years of literature and we found only seven studies that had a sufficient methodological quality. We focused on intervention occurring during the first year post-term. And the infants were indeed very high risk because about 25% to 70% of the children develop cerebral palsy. The studies included about 300 infants that were randomized into a study intervention and the other half served as controls. Our conclusion was that these seven studies were very heterogeneous and did not allow for pertinent conclusions. This means that the evidence that early intervention in very high-risk infants is effective is weak. Having said that, and stressed that, we nevertheless think that our study may provide some suggestions for future directions of early intervention. The first suggestion is based on this summary table. Here the interventions are indicated by colour and our study suggests that interventions that applied a mix of approaches presumably provide the best results. So a mix that means, for instance, developmental stimulation and environmental enrichment and support of infant-parent interaction and perhaps also some hands-on techniques of neurodevelopmental treatment. Thus, we think that a multifaceted approach may be uh, most profitable for both child and family. The second suggestion, not on the slide, is that dosing is probably critical. And that means probably more is better. But that, in practical life, is easier said than done. The second new thing of our study was that we paid detailed attention to methodological quality. And we did do that, not only to select those studies that had sufficient methodological quality for the final analysis, but also as we thought that strengths and limitations of already existing studies may pave the way for future studies. And therefore we included at the end of our paper a table with ideas for 
future research. Thank you for your attention.